Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lacey Elizabeth, and if you want to learn how I did this amazing, cute, fall, sexy, you know, really cute look, keep watching. Don't forget, I'm running my amazing giveaway right now, so if you guys want to take part in that and enter the contest, all you guys need to do is follow me on YouTube right there, and follow me on Instagram right there, and the one lucky winner is getting all this stuff from Sephora, including a whole bunch of ordinary products and a whole bunch of other things. So if you guys want to take part in that, subscribe. Hey guys, so today I thought I would take this Huda matte colored lipstick right here, this liquid lip. I'm going to apply that and I'm going to pair it with this um, lip gloss, which is from the Strobe collection. Yeah, it's a lip strobe by Huda Beauty. So I'm super excited to try these two products today. So I thought, how about I film and show you guys? I'm thinking brighter lip for fall and more of a soft eye. Something super kind of sexy and colorful, playful, catty. Because I want to kind of focus on the lip, I'm actually going to go in and apply this matte lipstick first, which is something I don't do. I mean, obviously I've gone in, I've applied my base, I look cute. You know, I'm loving this new hourglass powder and the hourglass setting spray. It's like, girl, it's everything. I love this. Since I filmed the beauty battle for you guys with the two brow pens, the Anastasia and the Fenty, I have been reaching for both of them. More so the Fenty, loving the Fenty, but I thought I would exchange the brow pen that I filmed with for this lighter version. Tell me guys, what do you think? Should I go another shade lighter? I'm kind of like liking this, but mm, right? I'm just like not sure. If you guys think I should go another shade lighter, let me know. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go in with this Huda Beauty. This is the matte. These two right here actually came in a summer collection and I am living for it. I haven't actually tried this one yet. Okay, that's cute. I didn't go in and line my lips because I wanted to see if this bleeds. This is still just one swipe. It is very liquidy. Loving it. That's cute, right? I'm kind of loving that. It's very bright for me, but I do like it. It dries down really, really fast. It's really, really cute. I love the color. It's not sticky at all. It looks really matte. And remember, I did not line my lips, so yeah. So cute, love it. Okay, I will go in with the gloss later after I finish the eye look. Okay, now for the eye look. I'm thinking something really soft, feminine, sexy, kind of catty. So to 
achieve that, I'm going to actually go in with this Sigma Ponderosa palette. And I'm loving this palette. It has full size mirror, it comes with the brush, it's super, super cute. I'm thinking I'm probably going to actually go in with Apricot and Ponderosa to kind of give me that chic, kind of fun, flirty vibe. Let's start with that. To start off, I'm going to go in with a Natasha Denona number no. 6 brush. I'm going to pick up this apricot. Ooh, that is pigmented. Check that out. Okay, I'm going to tap that off. I'm going to go in with this apricot color and I'm going to put that in my crease and I'm just going to blend that out. That'll be our transition shade for this look. Ooh, that's pigmented. That is pretty. That is so pretty. Ooh. Yes, that is that apricot. Ooh, that's nice. Tap into a little bit more. Ooh, I like that a lot. Okay, I'm actually going to go in with a blending brush and I'm going to go in with this tapered blender from, sorry, tapered blending brush from Sigma Beauty and this is a E35. So I'm just going to blend that out into my crease. Beautiful transition to shade. So that is a lovely transition shade for fall. I'm loving that. It's very fun, very fall, very cute. It's giving me those cute vibes. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this MAC 234 brush right here. And I'm going to pick up, because it's dual fibered, I'm gonna go with this side right here, which is our synthetic side. I'm going to pick up Ponderosa, and that is pretty. Ooh, that is pretty, pretty, pretty. I'm just tapping off the excess. And I'm literally going to put that in the center of my lid. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm going to take my powder brush and I'm just going to wipe away any little fallout. But that is so pretty. I love it. I don't want it to be much darker than what it is right now. In fact, I'm going to actually just go in with my blending brush, the same blending brush we were just using. And I'm just going to blend that into my crease. Ooh, I love that. Okay. I'm actually going to go in with this Natasha Denona number no. 7 brush right here. And I'm going to pick up... I'm actually going to go in and pick up Veranda. Which is this nice creamy shade right here. It's, again, they're all so pigmented. I'm just tapping off any excess. And I'm just going to go in and lighten my inner corner. That is pretty. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Okay, I'm going to go in with this MAC, what is this? 239 SE brush right here. I'm going to pick up just a little bit of Melodon, 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 which is this brown color. I'm tapping all the excess off. I'm literally just going to go 
around my lash line right here. I'm just going to put a little bit of color right along my lash line. I'm then going to go in with that same Sigma blending brush and I'm just going to blend out that line. Ooh, that's pretty. I don't think I want to smoke out the bottom just because my lips are so vibrant. But I do want to add just a little bit of shimmer. So I'm going to go in with this Morphe. And I'm going to go into Belle of the Ball. Because I want some shimmer. Tap that off. I'm going to go into my inner corner. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, guys. So I'm going to go in and repeat all those steps on my other eye, and I'll be right back. So now that we have our eyeshadow on, I'm just going to go in right here with this Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. And I'm going to apply this to my lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got my mascara on and I'm going to go in with my favorite liner, which is the Fenty Fly Liner in Cousin Black. That's the shade name. And I'm going to go in, I'm going to line my lashes, but I'm going to give it just a little bit of a wing. I don't really wear a wing, so I can't even call it a wing. I'm going to give it a, like a flick, <laughs> just a little baby flick, because I want it to be kind of more dramatic on the lips. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I've gone in, I've lined one of my lids, and you can see the difference. I just went in with a really thin line, but it's just kind of giving it that very open eye effect, but we're keeping the dramatic on the lips, and I like that. For lashes today, I'm going to go in with these ones right here and they're called So Natural is the shade and they're black lashes with a clear band. I don't know if you can see that with the reflection. Totally, actually here, I'm going to take them out of the package for you guys. So it's a clear band and they look very glam but extremely natural and that's just going to help with this look. I'm excited. So I'm going to apply these lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm just going to go in with my eyeliner and I'm just going to put just a little bit more over top of the lashes. Do you see how that just makes that kind of soft but dramatic look? I've only lined a little bit of extra over the lashes just with that one eye. You can tell, right? It looks good. All right, I'm going to go in, do the other eye, and I'll be right back.
Okay, to bronze my face, I'm gonna go in with this Fenty Beauty Shady Biz bronzer. And I'm also going to take this Kenzie brush right here. And I'm just going to swirl into my bronzer, pick up a good amount of product. And I'm just gonna dust over where the sun would naturally kiss my face. cheekbones and down the center of my nose okay I'm gonna go in and contour with the Huda Beauty color Huda is it Huda light no this is the Huda color right here I'm gonna contour with that one and to contour, I'm going to take this Makeup by Mario brush right here, and this is the contouring brush. Just gonna tap into that color. And I'm literally just going to get that high point just under it right there. Cute, right? <laughs> I go under the chin always. And around my jawline. Today I'm actually going to take... Yeah, no, that one's good. I'm actually going to take this small blender right here from Too Faced. I'm also going to go into my Huda. Just pick up a little bit of color, tap that off. And I'm actually just going to contour down the sides of my nose, which I don't do often. But today, we're gonna do it. So that's where I'm putting my contour. I'm gonna go in with this little brush right here. It's just a little kabuki brush. And I'm just gonna soften that contour on my cheekbones. I'm going to soften down this other side. I always like just to go in and just soften around my hairline. Under my chin, jawline. Really, really pretty. Now, to blend my nose contour, I'm actually going to go in with this precision angled brush right here. And this is a Sigma P84. And I'm just going to blend that nose contour. See, it just kind of draws the face looking down, giving you that slimmer effect. I'm gonna go in and use this Jouer palette right here. I'm actually gonna go in with this darker color right here, which is called Marigold. That looks really, really pretty. I'm gonna go back in with that Kabuki brush. I'm just gonna blend out that blush because I don't want it to be too strong. <laughs> Camera guy just asked if my lipstick will come off because it's so dark, so I'm gonna prove it to you guys. I've got nothing on the back of my hand. I like it. Huda, yes, girl, you're doing it. I'm going in to apply my highlighter. To do that, I'm actually going to go into this eyeshadow quad by um, NARS, which is the Orgasm X eyeshadow quad. I am going in. I'm looking for my brush. I can't even find what I'm looking for. Okay. I'm going in with this Natasha Denona number 14 brush. 
And I'm actually going to just pick up this champagne color right here. Love that. So pretty. Okay. I'm just going to apply that to the high points of my cheeks because I don't want anything too intense, but that's just so pretty. I love that shade. Love that. Ooh, that's so pretty. Okay, I'm just gonna take a little bit more. I'm gonna just, just graze under my eyebrows, just dust a little bit up there. I'm also now gonna go into this pink one right here. Love that shade little bit I'm gonna tap that off and I'm literally just going in to the corners of my lids and I'm just dusting a little bit of that pink right there just you know to give us some life cuz you know she's all that right <laughs> okay I'm also gonna go in I want this one right here which is a Mac 219 SE brush, which is this one right here. I'm also going to go into that champagne shade. I'm just going to put a pop of champagne right in my tear duct, right in that corner, and just flick it up. Doing the same to the other side. Oh, it's pretty. I like that a lot. Now, what you will notice is that I usually go in with, you know, that's all say it, my Pat McGrath liner and I line my waterline. Today I'm not going to. I feel like the lip is as bold as I want this look to be. I'm going to go in and use this Huda Strobe lip gloss because I want, it's a little bit of something, a little something, something. I'm going to try it. So this is what this, actually let me clear all of this out of the way. Okay, I'm going to go in with this Huda lip gloss, same doe foot applicator, right here. I'm just going to apply just a little bit to the center. Ooh! Ooh, that's pretty. Okay. That changes that look. That is stunning. Ooh, I love that. Okay. I actually don't want to go in with too much because that is so pretty. But yes, okay. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go in with my Hourglass Veil setting spray because I have it here on the desk. And I love this setting spray. Ever since I unboxed it last week, two weeks ago, was it two weeks ago? Have been reaching for it all the time. Love, love, love Hourglass. All right, guys. So that brings me to the end of my look. What do you think of this cute little fall face? <laughs> do you guys like it? Comment down below. All right, guys. Remember to smash that notification bell and hit the subscribe button. Thumbs up. Always appreciate it. Comment down below. Don't forget about my giveaway. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is follow me on my channel right there and follow me on Instagram. And that's it. One lucky winner is going to go home with all of this ordinary and a whole bunch of other stuff. Remember guys, live, love, and lip gloss. Bye guys.